Hello, good morning. This is Jack. I call this the Rotor Genie. Let's fire up the Rotor Genie here. It's actually a Rodan coil connected to a regular coil on the charger side and it has some interesting uh, properties. Now that it's running on the um, Rodan coil as the primary driver, as you can see there, and then the secondary rotor is the one that's just driving a regular solenoid type coil which actually powers the bulb you see down there. So when we disconnect the load, you can see the RPMs increase considerably. It actually goes up to almost 8,000 RPM. 8,000 RPM is it goes so fast that I have to keep it tied down. And then the satellite rotor magnets that I had on there before just flew off and went flying around the room. <laughs> then over here is the uh, drive transistor, some of the drive circuits. And I have uh, one large capacitor here that's now charged up to 51 volts. And over here I have a scope shot that you can see where I have the, the green is the um, collector of the drive transistor and the uh, channel 2, the yellow, is the base, the signal coming from the uh, 55 fix timer circuit to trigger, trigger the sucker. So, as you can see, the thing is going, uh, oh gosh, it's really moving out. Um, if we do a measurement here, uh, about, um, let's say, 148 hertz. So that's 148 um, frequency. That's 148 revolutions per second, um, which is corresponds to around, uh, well, um, oh gosh, close to 8,000 RPM. There's another look at the sucker. So let's, uh, as you can see, if you put the load back on there, it loads down the motor considerably. The bulb gets bright quickly until it goes down. So you can actually um, optimize this so you have the optimum distance from the, uh, the load coil. Um, I've got another charge circuit here which is called the Tesla shuttle though, which uh, doesn't load the motor down that much but still charges well. And uh, that's about it I wanted to show you. And I was, that I was getting some considerably good uh, RPMs out of this thing from just running off of the hall sensor. The hall sensor is the entire trigger circuit. And I'll show you, here's the uh, circuit. If you want to build it. Hope you can see that okay. Alright, signing off. Bye.